everybody. It is Sunday. It is just after 8 a.m. I am cleaning the kitchen, putting away dishes so that I can start getting ready because my mom and I are going to spend the day together and I'm really excited. I'm going to drive up to Oakville or down to Oakville to meet her to get a coffee and then I think we're going to go thrifting. She actually is the one that pretty much introduced me to thrift shopping. I feel like <clears throat> she would go to all these like Salvation Armies or Goodwills and come home with new clothes all the time and every single day I'm like, is that a new top? Is that a new top? Or those a new pair of pants? And yeah, she was always just coming home with good finds. So she's the one that kind of introduced me to thrift shopping. So yeah, I'm putting away dishes right now, you know, just living the life. My roommate usually goes home on the weekends, so it's like, it leaves me to just, I kind of make a mess as I go, and I'm like, it's fine, I can clean it all on Sunday, what does it matter, she's not even around, right? But, because I'm going out this afternoon, I want to make sure it's clean for when she gets home. But, yeah, we're just going to do, we're just going to hang out, um, maybe go to the grocery store. She knows that I just haven't really been in the best spirit lately, best mood. I just have been feeling kind of lonely and stressed out because I'm still unemployed. And I just I miss her. Her and I would do lots of like things together all the time. Even if it was just like sitting around and watching a show, like She's just like one of my best friends. So that's pretty much it. This part's boring. I just thought I would give you some sort of introduction as to like what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna finish cleaning and then as soon as I'm ready and leaving the house, I will uh, let you guys know. Okay, talk soon. ready to go my mom is even running behind I text her just to say I'm not gonna be leaving till just after 10 I had to take out the garbage and put stuff away make sure my dishes were clean but my car is filthy that's the thing about winter time is everything just gets so dirty so quick the mud and the and the snow so I should take my car do I have enough gas yeah I do have enough gas that's surprising um so yeah, I should probably take my car to go get clean, but there's really no point because it's gonna keep getting dirty. And it's like only the driver's side is dirty, but every other seat is perfectly fine. So yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna leave. It's probably like a half an hour drive and um, my mom and I are gonna get coffees and then we're gonna go thrift shopping and hopefully she's done, take some pictures because I look kind of cute right now. Like look at how, look at my hair. Okay, see you later. Okay, you want to tell the vlog how come you got lost coming All down here? All I had to do was get from Caledonia to Oakville, Lakeshore, Oakville. Not a big deal. QEW, 403, get off at like Bronte Road. No, no. The Google Maps put sent me all the way through downtown Hamilton, and then it was going to take me along the Lakeshore through Burlington up to Oakville an hour and 10 minutes on the road to get to Oakville from Caledonia. That was a joke. 
It was like, Sharon, what are you doing? Why are you even listening to this app? I will never use Google Maps again. And when they asked me to rate them and they had a big happy face for satisfied and a big frowny face for very dissatisfied, I said I was very dissatisfied. You heard it here first, guys. My mom is never using Google Maps again. So next time we take a road trip anywhere into the States, we're gonna have to use a real, a real map. Doesn't matter if it takes us 10 days, a month to get there, we're using the regular map. We're drinking our tea and our latte, and then we're gonna go do a little bit of thrifting. So it's a nice sunny day. Everybody's out with their doggies and their kids. It's like, it's almost like COVID doesn't even exist down here because nobody's wearing a mask and not really social distancing. Everyone's hanging out in big groups. But maybe it's just because I've been in Toronto for like two months and everything's on lockdown and I don't leave my house. But this is like, it's busy. I've never seen it like this. Okay. It's a happening place. It's a happening place. Okay, I will let you guys know when we get to the thrift store. Say bye. So my mom and I just finished thrifting. She got on the road to go back home, so it was just a short little visit, but um, it's okay. She bought me a sweater from the thrift store, so it's okay. Now I'm at Whole Foods. She also e-transferred me money so I could get myself some groceries. I love you, mom. Um, going to get myself some groceries and then probably head back home so yeah not a super exciting day I don't know if I'll even make this one full vlog one full vlog or if I'll add it to something else we'll see okay I might show you what's going on inside oh there's a cop that just pulled up hmm interesting Hey guys and happy Thursday. It is a beautiful day. I slept in a little bit. I got up not until like after 7 and usually I'm, I get up and I work out and I go on a walk but this morning I got straight to work and I decided that I'm going to go on a walk this afternoon when it gets a little bit warmer and um, yeah I wanted to film a mini thrift haul from when I went thrifting with my mom a couple days ago. I think I bought like four things so it's going to be really short and sweet. I don't think it's going to be a try on haul necessarily because this vlog I think is going to be a continuation from like a mini vlog from when I went thrifting with my mom, the haul, like this haul, and maybe even like just I'm planning on going on a picnic by myself but I need to go pick up things like a basket and food and bring books and maybe art supplies. So I don't know if that will be a whole video in itself or if that will just be uh, added onto this vlog. But um, yeah, let's get started with what I picked up at Value Village. Like I said, it's not a lot. We can start with jewelry. I don't have enough accessories and I, when I saw these, I thought that they were just like so beautiful. I love the peachy color. Can we be able to see that properly? Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry about my nails. My um, fake nails came off and now I'm back to just my regular nails. But yeah, they're really pretty, they're really dainty, and I really like the color of them, so I picked those up. And next up we have this, I think you would call it like a vest. Yeah, a vest. It's um, from the store smart set their weekend line I think and there's just something about it. it gives me like cargo vibes and 
I thought it would be really nice going into the spring, obviously. I just don't know how I'm necessarily going to pair it. Like, I don't know if I want to wear a turtleneck underneath, if I want to wear a dress underneath, or, um, like, what I really want to wear. But I thought it was really nice, and I like the, the material, so I picked that up. And it was, my mom had a 20% coupon, so it was like $5.49 regularly. But I, I honestly don't know what that means. It might have been like two something, three something. Next up, we have this uh, sweatshirt, like crew neck from, I'm obsessed with the brand Northern Reflections, which is so funny because my mom was like, then you would have loved the 80s because I guess that was a really popular store. But I do love this color. I think it's stunning. It's so pretty. The only thing I don't love about it is the, the trees because it's giving me very like wintry vibes but I thought that the color was just like so cute and um, with some like baggy blue jeans I could pull I think I could pull off I know I could pull off and then the hanger still on this one I picked up this it's an extra large sweater from the line Komen Sport. I'm gonna undo this, sorry. Turtleneck, really long, uh, your creamy white color. It's super comfortable, and I've decided I'm gonna wear it as like a sweater dress. So I will we'll add some of the photos that I took in it recently. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think that sweater dresses are really good for this time of year as well, like good transition into winter and uh, out of winter into the spring because you can pair them with like some tights, a cute little trench coat if you want, and or even just by itself with a belt. Last but not least, I actually picked up a bra, which I don't usually go into like the intimate section and buy like bras, um, but I did find this one and it's white and it's really cute um, and it was like $5.99 so I picked this up as well. I think that's pretty much it. That's everything that I found but like I said I will add those pictures of how I styled a turtleneck um, sweater dress and then I don't know if this will be the end of my vlog if I'm gonna add more to it I'm not really quite sure but thank you guys so much for watching um, let me know what else you want to see I do have some really great ideas planned for the channel I don't want to spoil anything so I'm not going to share my ideas with you guys just yet but do stay tuned subscribe um, share this video I don't know I I'm just having like the time of my life and I'm having so much fun like filming these little videos. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Hey guys, I am, um, oh, that's better. I um, just want to get on here quickly to say that I never filmed an outro for my vlog with my mom and my mini thrift haul. I think that is going to be it for today's video. I have other video ideas planned, but they're pretty like in depth and I don't think, I think that they would make a good video all on their own. It is raining here and my window's open, sorry if it's loud. It, oh, my hair is blowing in the wind. Um, it's actually really relaxing. They were calling for rain all day. It was like 80% chance of rain all day and it remained sunny. So I got out for a walk, which was nice, actually two walks. And now it's raining, but it's like kind of relaxing and calming. I don't remember the last time it really rained here, which is stupid, but yeah, I think that's gonna be all for today's video. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this vlog because it's not that exciting. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm making myself some dinner. It's Thursday night, so I'm gonna start a new show behind her eyes on Netflix. I've heard that the ending is so twisted and, and crazy, so that's the, pr 
pretty much the only reason why I'm gonna try to attempt to watch it. And then tomorrow's Friday, so close one day closer to the weekend. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.